In this lesson, we will see how to manage blocks and dashboards, the fundamental units of user interface on Moodle. This lesson is particularly important because what you learn here can be applied throughout Moodle in a standardized way. In the previous lesson, we did a basic introduction on blocks. These can be placed on the left or right columns of the screen, and if it is related to the actual learning content, you might even choose to place blocks on the center area also. The first thing you might notice with blocks are these two icons on all the blocks. You can use these to minimize or to dock a block. You might typically do this when you want additional screen real estate. We have already seen docking and reverting briefly earlier. One more small feature about docking is that when you have several blocks docked, you can revert all of them in one single click using this small arrow on the left hand side, like this. And it is a very convenient feature. This entire dashboard page can be completely customized according to your organizational needs. The starting point is to click on the Customize This Page button at the top of the page. Because you are the administrator, you will find this button on all the dashboards and other learning areas also. Now, the page is in editing mode and you can notice the button has changed text, stop customizing the page. In case you make changes and lose track and want to go back to the original state of this page, then you can reset the page to the default state using this other button here, reset page to default. Okay, coming back to blocks, you can see there are two new icons visible here now cross arrow icon can be used to drag and drop the block to any position virtually. I will show an example. Let us say I want the calendar block to be very visible to the user and at the top of the column. I can just drag and drop the block to the top like this. All the other blocks will also intelligently adjust to the new design like this. You can reorder the blocks according to your planned block usage. The gear icon next to the move icon is called as the actions menu. This holds additional actions you can do with the individual blocks. Actions will include configuration, hide and delete. Mostly all blocks will have these. I will click on the configure block option for the private files block and you can see the configuration options. Editing for the block happens on a new page which is opened on your screen right now. This block editing page interface will be very similar for all the blocks. You can see there are two sections on this page, one for the general appearance of the block and the second section is specifically for the page where the block editing was initiated. That is the second section can override the generic settings. The region drop down basically indicates which page area the block will appear on, whether left, center or right. The default weight sets an order that Moodle can use to decide the order of the blocks will appear on the screen. The higher the weight, the more it will sink to the bottom. You also have negative numbers, which will raise the block to the top. Of course, instead of setting the weight, you can set it visually by drag and drop as we just saw in the previous screen. Now, if you want the blocks to appear in one fashion for the entire site, but then customize on individual pages, then you can override using the second section which is titled on this page. There is one additional control here with which you can control the blocks visibility. If you set this to no, then the block will not show on this page but will continue to appear on the rest of the site. And region and weight are exactly the similar as I just explained now. 
when you are done with your editing you must click on the save changes button but for now i am just going to cancel and return back to the page